Y'all see what we got. Harry Potter, Luke Skywalker, two of the biggest franchises of all time. Personal favorites of mine. So I'm hype. Roll it. Guys, I remember when my dad pre-ordered uh, Order of the Phoenix for me, not Order of the Phoenix, uh, Goblet of Fire. It's the fourth book, I believe. And that was when I realized after reading that book, I was like, ain't no way in hell I'm reading the rest of this series because it was that book where it took it into like a thousand page Bible. And I was like, I can only do this once. Who has this kind of free time? But movies are fire uh luke skywalker obviously hot topic hot debate um about which movies are best but i i like them all personally but i'm excited to see what we got here because we got the we got the savior of the harry potter verse with the savior luke skywalker of the jedi verse and hear them go at each other so i'm here follow your boy instagram twitter discord most importantly hit up the twitch um that we do some of these reactions live so if y'all guys want to catch me do reactions get bloopers you know chat it up while i'm making these videos live for y'all guys on youtube consider joining over on twitch it's a good vibe if you like the vibe over here you'll enjoy the vibe on youtube if y'all guys want to support the channel monetarily and get extra content some of these things will be early release content that goes on patreon for weeks weeks before you see it over on youtube and there's going to be videos that you don't ever see on YouTube that go strictly to Patreon. So if y'all want to support the channel monetarily, get extra content, consider doing that. But other than that, I'm here for this. Let's get it. Fire up the wand like Hermione and Ron. I'm about to get it on. Cause my mouth's uh, big hot like incendio flames. You're lukewarm like some torn torn remains. Even the man. You're lukewarm. You're not Luke Skywalker. That's cool. And I like the fact that these are all done with uh, with the Legos. I'm assuming there's a reason for that. Maybe it was sponsored by the Lego movie or something like that, or sponsored by Legos. I'm sure they didn't just make it harder on themselves by making them with Legos. Even the mad eye of my man, Alistair Moody, could see your franchise only has two decent movies. Ooh, your feelings. the mad eye could see your franchise, Moody movies. That was a nice little internal rhyme scheme right there. Two decent movies? That's debatable. A decent amount of the franchise is good. And if you look at it, if you look at it from a filmmaking standpoint for the first three movies, when there was no computer technology whatsoever, crazy filmmaking. Franchise only has two decent movies. movies. Such your feelings. Do you sense deja vu? You're getting smoked like your Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. You're acting too soon? Damn. Dying, dying being burned alive gotta be one of the top worst ways to go. We have this, I feel like, every single stream where we have some type of, like, death come up, for some reason, what's the worst way to die always gets brought up. If I'm gonna die to fire, I better be passed out long ago to the carbon monoxide from the, uh, from the fucking, from the smoke. And then I don't feel nothing, and then it's not a problem. But dying to drowning, when your brain knows and you're processing that you're, like, you're dying, dying... And at any moment now, you're going to have to take a breath. And that breath is going to be filled with water in your lungs. I can't do that. You're getting smoked like your Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. You're acting but that's clever the way that they show like the, the motion of the flames by using different by using different flaming Lego pieces. That's, that's tight. You sense deja vu? You're getting smoked like your Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Your acting is flat and your raps are too d 2 Fuck off to the afterlife where you're fat and see-through. You're the biggest <laughs> letdown in this series since Snoke. It makes sense your father's Vader. All you do is choke, uh. you country. Uh, yeah, um, Anakin Skywalker didn't exactly age as gracefully as motherfucking Han Solo did. That's just the way life, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sent your father's Vader, all you do is choke, uh. you country bumpkin. Oh, uh, but the father Vader choke bar, that's kind of hard. Theory since snow, it makes sense your father's Vader, all you do is choke, uh. you country bumpkin, you must be dumb. Who farms moisture on a desert planet with two suns? Let me uh. stick my plans in your dusty bin droid, I'll leave you like a horcrux. Split up and destroyed. And destroyed. I don't know who made you shoot first, but that's decent. That was decent. I feel like I can't take these this video as seriously as the other ones because they're Legos. But if you're farming for water, I mean, I, I get the bar like it's like it's dumb, but it's really not dumb because if you strike water, you're about to be rich as fuck because there's no water on a desert planet. Just like if you strike oil, you're automatically going to be rich. I don't know who made you shoot first, but that missed. If I was you, I'd have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I'm a rhyming Jedi like my father before me. You're talking hats should have put you in Gryffindorky. You're already. 
like my father before me. I can hear, I can literally hear the quote from the movie. Jedi like my father before me. You're talking hats should have put you in Griffin Dorky. Your origin story is Luke. That's not a bar. Griffin Dorky. That's cringe bar. Come on, Luke. You're better than that, my guy. You're the last Jedi. My father before me. You're talking hats should have put you in Griffin Dorky. Your origin story is mostly stolen from me. You hey. might be honored, but Harry, I planted your seed. Let's see. Now we got bars. Your origin story was stolen from me. You were an orphan raised by your shit. Uh, I guess they weren't shit uncle and aunt. Harry Potter's were, but not over here in this world. You got your origin story from me, bro, because I'm because you're my son. I sunned you quite literally. But the Harry Potter potted like a plant. That was fire. Little orphan raised by relatives in solitude. Yep. Suddenly gets taken under wing of funky wizard dude. Learns that he's bro. He could have said profit dude just to have some type of rhyme scheme right there it's in solitude yep. suddenly gets taken under wing of funky wizard dude yep. learns that he's been destined to have powerful gifts but between the two of us i think i got the cool stick swing it my mic saber cuts through you so slicey if you on the floor like an arm at most icely <laughs> hey uh but real quick who has the doper who has the doper instrument for what they do is the lightsaber doper than harry potter's wand I honestly don't know. The lightsaber is cool as fuck. The purple one is my favorite one, if I'm being honest, from uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, Darth Maul's dual saber, completely impractical. I'm slicing off my leg the first moment that I touch that lightsaber. But the wand is crazy, though. If I pull out a wand and I'm holding that bitch like this, the fucking straw, and I'm leviosing all these motherfuckers, that's like... I mean, it's, it's not cool until something happens with it. The lightsaber, I pull that bitch out, you're going to be like, holy shit. This man just pulled out a lightsaber. Automatic street cred status. What good is the wand if I'm not a wizard? At that point, it's just a stick that I picked up off the ground. The lightsaber, I don't got to be a Jedi to wield that hoe. Do you so slicey. Leave you on the floor like an arm at most icely. Hit you with the wand for raps. I get icy. Lay uh, them in your face like... That'll do nicely. I fly the X-Wing uh, to save a... Was, that wasn't actually fucking... That wasn't actually what's his name, right? Ain't no way. I get icy. Lay them in your face like... That'll do nicely. I fly the X-Wing to save a planet from massacre. You fly a broom like some kind of magical janitor. Your double queen <laughs> army likes to think that you're the best. All you did was use your mom like a bulletproof vest. The death of my mother... Ooh, not you use your mom as a bulletproof vest. He likes to think that you're the best. All you did was use your mom like a bulletproof vest. The death of my mother saved the wizarding race. Your mom died of heartache when she saw your face. Oh. This school drop out, you're too whiny to rhyme. At least when I slither in a sister, she isn't mine. Oh. I'm the I knew it. I knew the, the fucking ancestry was going to come through. There ain't no way that you don't have that in the fucking, in the video. That is one of the stains on the entire franchise. We're like, oh, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So they're brother and sister, but I could have sworn in the older movies, they were definitely making out. But the Slytherin line was fucking crazy. Slytherin, a sister, at least it isn't mine. Like Slytherin the house, but you got your snake Slytherin. And some vagina. At least when I slither in a sister, she isn't mine. Oh, I'm the boy who lives. Run it back. Fire. It's too whiny to rhyme. At least when I slither in a sister, she isn't mine. Oh, I'm the boy. And then even had her, even had the sister Lego character. At least when I slither in a sister, she isn't mine. Bars. I'm the boy who lived. Best seller without equal. I'll split you like your fan base is feelings about the prequels. The sequels brought you back. I'll split, split you like your fan base is about the prequels. This might be one of my favorite ERBs so far, just because we're going crazy. It's probably one of the better written ones in terms of like actual disses toward each other. Equal, I'll split you like your fan base is feelings about the prequels. Mm -hmm. Sequels brought you back to meet your demise. I'd say you were brilliant, but I must not tell lies. I left uh, JK straight. Hard. I like that. Your demise. I'd say you were brilliant, but I must not tell lies. I left JK straight rolling in cash. Yep. You let JJ compact your character to trash. So oh. go on, try and force more of your disses. You're like a stormtrooper. Cause all your shit misses. The delivery is fire of Harry Potter. I honestly think that Harry Potter is winning by a long shot right now. All your shit misses. That's right, R2. It does sound like he left all his fire in the goblet. 
<laughs> Maybe Stop he it. will get rescued by an anorexic hobbit. I think it's pretty clear that you would. Maybe he'll get rescued by an anorexic hobbit. Maybe he will get rescued by an anorexic hobbit. I think it's pretty clear that you and I are pretty different. My drive's hyper, your drive's privet. I've got uh, more rhymes and sand grains on Tatooine. You couldn't pull in the wind with a tractor beam. I crushed an empire of gal Couldn't pull in the wind with a tractor beam? Not bad. But the Slytherin bar is gonna... It's gonna take a lot. Couldn't pull in the wind with a tractor beam. I crushed an empire of galaxy large. I blew up the Death Star. You blew up Ant Mars. I popped you where Poppy Poppy can't be healing you. And like a great disturbance in the force, I'm not feeling you. Death would eat you uh, up without... I'm not feeling you. Great disturbance in the force. You know what I'm saying? That's decent. And you blew up your ant like the fucking balloon. And I blew up the Death Star. What kind of architectural and engineering design flaw is that hey we're gonna create the death star but let's create a 400 long pipe straight to the center and it's only gonna be a vent in this one spot and let's make sure they're aware of where that vent is blew up the death star you blew up at mars i popped you where poppy poppy can't be healing you and like a great disturbance in the force i'm not feeling you death would eat you up without hermione and luck because your own skills wingardium levio suck you're a dunce like dursley but worse and i'd rather hurt nerfs than have to endure your third birth have you heard rap before that, that was a nice little rhyme scheme right there still not topping still not topping harry potter for me but it was nice. I heard nerfs and have to endure your third burst. Have you heard rap before? That was not dope at all. Maybe have Goldie Ball show you the protocol. Uh, but I bet you're just distracted. You got a lot on your plate. On one hand, the rebellion. On the other hand, oh wait. I roll deep. And on one hand, the rebellion. On the other hand, oh wait, you don't have it. Because your dad cut it off. Bro. It's just the way the delivery, it's just the way that the bars are getting told to me. Like, I had to infer, you have to know the reference that he's missing his hand in order to understand that bar. That was nice. Have a lot on your plate. On one hand, the rebellion. On the other hand, oh wait. I roll deep and the Weasley's got my back. This muggle sucks more hole than the bloody Sarlacc. Uh, we'll rough you up good if you try to step to Harry, mate. You're the least intimidating twin since Mary Kate. I flow like butter. The least intimidating twin since Mary Kate. That's nice. Intimidating twin since Mary Kay. I flow like butter beer on Diagon streets. Hey. You can find me getting fantastic on these beats. It's over, Luke. I got the high ground advantage. I'll close it like a map. Mischief managed. You should have Hagrid fly your home on his moped. If I wanted teenage wizardry, I'd call Selena Gomez. Uh, My attack tactics are galactically hardcore. Far more. That was dope that they did the little, the little thing. Selena Gomez. She was the teenage wit. What was it? Wizards of Waverly Place? You should have Hagrid fly you home on his moped. If I wanted teenage wizardry, I'd call Selena Gomez. My attack tactics are galactically hardcore. Oh. Far more than your goofy little Scar Wars. I learned flow from the best in the biz. Get funky. So all of you that end this is. McClunky. My Jedi mind trick. Put the next on your Imperius. Tip you up like death sticks on Bellatrix. Dead serious. No need to expel the armies. You're heartless in a duel. Call me the Hogwarts Express. I just took you to school. Uh, clearly, clearly Harry Potter won that bitch, 100%. Harry Potter's was fire. Luke came out with a force at the end, but he had already lost at that point to, to Harry. That was dope, bro. These, these are fire. These epic rap battles of history. It's dope whenever you know the references, and when you don't know the references, but you know that there's something there, it's cool to, like, look it up and learn, and, like, learn about it. You know what I'm saying? That's fire to me. Mm. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. You like what you see, consider liking, leaving a comment down below. You like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. All those things help the channel get built. It helps to go out there to the, you know, algorithm and push it out to other people. So it really does help for free. If y'all guys want to support the channel monetarily, if you're in that position, consider joining Patreon. It's where we do all of our extra content that we get, extra reactions, exclusive reactions, reactions that come from Twitch that go on, on Patreon, yada, yada, yada. So if y'all guys want to support the channel, that is the best place to do it. If y'all guys want to catch the Twitch and watch us do these things live, I did do this one live as well in front of a studio audience. Nah, just kidding. But if y'all guys do want to see like the bloopers and have discussion and things like that about what we're hearing, uh, Twitch is the best place to do it. Second link in the description. But other than that, appreciate everybody's time. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. I'll catch everybody in the next video.
Peace.